Dustin, you and I are big proponents of coaching and professional development, but every once in a while, you'll see where coaching just doesn't work out. And I know that's a big objection for people who are on the fence of whether or not they should invest in some kind of professional development or group coaching program. What do you think? Well, I, you know, I think it's all a matter of where you're starting from. What are you trying to accomplish? Right. And so when, when we look at what are really the top reasons that, you know, any coaching or training engagement doesn't work, you know, number one is, is the basics, right? Like, is it, is the coaching program based in reality or is it just based in theory? There's, there's a ton of them out there that are based in theory versus what's really happened in a business before. And I think that's a, a starting distinction. You know, the second thing is, is uh, buy-in, uh, both by uh, leadership and, and by the participants. Now, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that every engagement we have, right? You know this, that every participant is jacked up, ready to go, and excited for what's about to come. Uh, resistance to change is human behavior. So we, we anticipate that. Uh, but as long as there, there, there is buy-in to here's a problem we're trying to solve for, and this is a way for us to, to try to solve it, I think that mindset as a starting point can, can then morph into really bought-in participants and bought-in leadership. Uh, but the third one, I think, is actually the, the most important. I think far too often people forget that this is changing human behavior. And a lot of times people think, well, we can just do this by having you know, a single talk and have someone come in and have this inspirational, motivational talk, and that's what's going to change the direction of our company forever. You know, when in reality, we know that people forget what that talk was about three days later. And so they get back into their old habits, they get back into their old behaviors. And so really the, the most successful programs take time right? They take time to teach, time to educate, uh, time to create buy-in, and then time to really train on what is this new behavior that we need to do that is, is being coached, is being trained, is being developed, that will change your results. 100%. I would also say, back to the person investing, why are you investing? Why are you doing it? Are you doing it for the right reasons? Because so often when some people invest, not all, they're doing it just to, to make money. And I, I don't know that that's the right reason. So what this goes back to for me is having a very crystal clear vision. So often I would ask people, you know, what is your vision? What, what do you want? And if you're investing in any kind of a coaching or personal development program, and you really don't know what you're after, it'd be really hard to expect that you're going to find success. So I think you really want to get crystal clear on what you want to achieve, both personally in your life at home and professionally, because that to me changes everything on the level of commitment, because I've seen that number two, which is there are some people that do this that are just half committed, meaning, yeah, they want it. They want to get promoted. They want to earn more money, but wanting and doing are two different things, right? Um, I can want to be a millionaire all, all I want, but unless I change my actions and my behaviors, uh, nothing's going to help me get to that point. So I think that if you are pretty crystal clear, I shouldn't say pretty, if you are crystal clear, things will start to change with your commitment level. And all of a sudden, I think you'll find yourself deprioritizing or in some cases, prioritizing other things. So to me, it, it's, a, it's really a matter of those three things, why they don't work is lack of vision, lack of priorities, lack of commitment. And so often that, that can be a really easy fix. But I would even say that so often, if we zoom out for a moment, it's less about the program and more about the participant. Is that fair? For sure. And that's, and that's where leading with really understanding what is the problem you're trying to solve for? You know, that goes back to your, your vision point. I think far too often people uh, have a problem, but they don't really have it defined. And so because they don't have it defined, they throw a lot of random solutions at it that aren't even really getting at the core problem. And then they then three months later, six months later, nine months later, they're frustrated because to your point that, you know, maybe the participant isn't bought in, maybe even the participant is bought in, but it's not solving a problem that even really exists. Great point, Dustin. I love that.